Barack Obama served two consecutive terms as the President of the United States of America and depending who you ask is one of the most loved or one of the most hated presidents in the history of the country. Of course there's also the majority who likely don't think much about Obama's days in office. Regardless of where you stand on the love hate scale of the 44th president, as we know he can legally never run again for president. As the 22nd amendment states, I quote, no person shall be elected to the office of the president more than twice and no person who has held the office of president or acted as president for more than two years of a term to which some other person was elected president shall be elected to the office of the president more than once. But what if somehow he did? Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're asking what if Obama was president right now? Hey everyone, what's up? I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan. And I'm your other host, Jared Bronstein. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you enjoy our videos, but for now, let's get right into it. As Jared stated before, a president can't legally run for a third term as per the 22nd Amendment. But before the amendment, presidents could run for more than two terms. Franklin D. Roosevelt managed to win more than two consecutive elections. What happens if the states decide to go back to their old ways before the 22nd Amendment, making Obama eligible to be the president again? And while I know we just had the election, but let's say he got elected and is now in office, what would happen? Well honestly, Obama will reinstate everything that Trump got rid of, starting with Obamacare. Now Trump didn't get rid of Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act completely, but many refer to what he did as sabotage. Basically, he made a lot of changes to Obamacare, which Obama would then change back. For example, Trump reduced the funds for outreach and enrollment, he changed the immigration policy for healthcare, and he created ways for cheaper, lower quality insurance that were questionable in some eyes. Obama would take all of what Trump did and just dump it in the trash. He would reinstate Obamacare how he ran it before, which of course some people are for and some people are against. Like there are pros and cons to his health care. One pro would be more Americans would have health insurance. Statistically, more than 16 million Americans obtained health insurance coverage within the first five years of the Affordable Health Care Act. Another pro would be people with pre-existing health conditions can't be denied coverage. But then you have the cons, like people will have to pay higher premiums, or the fact that taxes will most likely go up. But in a time like this with a deadly pandemic, a lot of people think Obamacare is the way to go. Many Americans lost their jobs because of the pandemic, meaning they lost their health care insurance with it. So at least they have Obamacare to rely on. But at the same time, the monthly payments would be unaffordable for a number of families, especially those that lost their jobs. So maybe Obama would create a new health care system, Obamacare 2.0, to help those families or individuals who need health insurance but are laid off or can't afford it. It's no secret that Obama is not a fan of how Trump handled the pandemic, so if he's president, he may try to actively do more to keep Americans healthy. For those of you unaware, when Obama first took office in 2008, he inherited a couple wars that started during the Bush administration. More specifically, the Iraq and Afghanistan war, as well as what's referred to as the War on Terror, were all welcoming President Obama with open arms when he officially took over the duties of president. And although he did bring tons of troops home over his eight year tenure, unfortunately, many people believe that President Obama was in fact responsible for how long the wars dragged on for. Some even claim, although one could argue he ended a war, he didn't, and instead just changed what being at war means. In regards to Troops, Obama significantly reduced the number of those fighting overseas from 150,000 troops to 14,000 in various different war zones. That being said, he also called for airstrikes or military raids on at least the following seven countries, including Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, and Pakistan. Now, that's not to say that if he were to take office that he would necessarily start sending troops back into war. However, he is the first and currently only two-term president who was in charge while US military forces were fighting a war. That's eight years straight of conflict. President Trump, on the other hand, love him or hate him, has been regarded as one of the most peaceful presidents in the history of the US, at least overseas. It's true he didn't start any wars, whereas President Obama's administration was responsible for attacks on at least seven other countries, as previously mentioned. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean that he started numerous wars, as a lot of the conflict was inherited from the previous administration. With that being said, when comparing Trump and Obama, it seems the former is less willing to deploy the troops compared to the latter. Still, if Obama were to take over as president, he likely wouldn't invade any countries, but odds are, if the past is any indication, he would be inclined to deploy more troops overseas, at least more so than Trump has. As I mentioned earlier, Obama has publicly shamed Trump for the way he handled the pandemic. 
At Joe Biden's rally in Philadelphia, Obama spoke up and said, and I quote, he's complaining he's jealous of COVID's media coverage. If he had been focused on COVID from the beginning, cases would not be reaching new record highs. So for him to say that and then not do anything about COVID would make him a huge hypocrite. So Obama would try to help America in this time of crisis. He might try to follow in Canada's lead. Because during a drive-in rally in Michigan for Joe Biden, Obama said, and I quote, if we had handled this pandemic like Canada did, 140,000 of our fellow Americans might still be alive today. He praises the way Canada has responded to COVID-19, making it seem like he would follow in the lead with similar restrictions and even longer lockdowns. We all know that America is suffering tremendously with the pandemic. Maybe Obama would do some good here. At the same rally, Obama said, and I quote, this idea that somehow this White House has done anything but completely screw this up is nonsense. It really seems he's passionate about helping out with the pandemic and to get America to a better place. Another topic or factor to look at is how President Obama would deal with the riots, looting protests, and police brutality that highlighted most of this past year, especially against black men. As we know, it seems President Trump turned a blind eye to it all, not really speaking much on the injustices that saw numerous black men and people of color in general, from George Floyd to Ahmed Aubrey, lose their lives at the hand of racism. In fact, during all the civil unrest in which protesters got mixed in with looters and people looking to riot, it, President Trump, rather than trying to defuse things, seemed to stoke the flames. Tweets such as when the looting starts, the shooting starts, and sending in the National Guard to put an end to civil unrest, although some may argue it was warranted, really just didn't send the best message to the American people, who are clearly more divided than ever. President Obama, on the other hand, would likely take a much more liberal approach. Similar to his former vice president, who is now the president-elect in Joe Biden, I'd like to think that if Obama was in office, he'd find a way to put an end to the civil unrest. That doesn't necessarily mean giving in to every demand of the people, but addressing the country in a way that would hopefully inspire different communities to come together and find common ground rather than divide and conquer. To say that Obama would do more than Trump regarding the Black Lives Matter movement in general and the police brutality that's been around for decades but has only been highlighted in recent years would be an understatement. I'm not so sure he'd necessarily defund the police nationwide, but I certainly feel he would immediately take action to calm the American people and find ways to band everyone together, however that may be. So if Obama was president, what do you think happens? We just said it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> But I think I think even something that we didn't talk about is like it's that that's that, that's illegal. Like he'd be going against the oh. Constitution and the amendment, right? Yeah, so maybe. Sure. But what, in maybe, this time, anything can happen. Honestly, like the government just makes an exception this one time. Or They're just, just like you know what? Let's just bring it. Obama back. Like who knows? But then that could change everything. The Constitution, like the the gun law, like the second or is it the second? Right. It's to, second. No, to carry a gun though. I think it's the. Oh, I don't know what that one is. Second. I don't know. Yeah, second. I don't know off the top of my head, I think it's second. The right to, to bear arms. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe they would change a lot of things in the Constitution and that would change America as a whole, so who knows? Who knows? Can you imagine just him like, guess who's back? Could you imagine he just back rolls again. in? He like imagine, imagine Biden's just like, you know what guys? <laughs> I want to bring this guy back. And he just walks out <laughs> he and he's just like, walks in? Up? Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Well, Play yeah. some like WWE music, he just like runs <laughs> in. Anyways. For now guys, do some comment replies from the video. What if Homer Simpson was real? Karan Kare said, then the US will vote him president. Probably. Homer Simpson as president? No. Mm. Huh. I think it'd be funny. What would he do? Say dough about everything. Oh. Like, Mr. Truth president, a lot of we're, beer. We're, we're in a war. No. I'm like, it's everything. Be everything. Then he, yeah, we're in war. Where's the beer? Yeah. That, that no. was yeah. a terrible Great. impression. He's also Where's the beer? Like, Homer's really hard to do, actually. Yeah. It's Homer. really flubby. He's like, no, I can't do I it. I can't do I it. I never tried homework. No, let's not do it. Yeah. Music by AB said, we would ask him about the future. I see what you did there. Because they know it all. They do know it all. Dun, dun, dun. Check out our 5 million videos on it. Yeah, check out any of our videos about The Simpsons predicting the future, because they do all the time. Mm, it's true. Benjamin Logan said, yeah, but in the show, as you stated, he almost caused all these things, but didn't. I'm cool with him in the real world. It's true. Like I said in the video, he almost caused a nuclear meltdown. Almost. But then he, but he didn't. Press the and right you know buttons. what? Yeah. He has helped Springfield a number of times from disaster, so maybe he'd do good. But he's also done like, you know, the Flaming Moe's. Remember that? The what? The Flaming Moe's. Like the drink when they caught it like, let on fire and, you know, that was a fad that, yeah. He did a lot of things. Yeah. Flaming Moe's? You don't know Flaming Moe's? I don't know it by the name, but now with the alcohol and you light it on fire. Yeah, like in Moe's Tavern. Yeah, yeah. How he did it. Oh, and then everyone was doing it. Yeah, I uh, said so like that a little dangerous. And I then, didn't know that's where it started from. And then at the very beginning of the like when it does the intro and it says days without an accident, and then the 
it literally Homer, I think, doesn't, and that's why they take the number back to zero. Oh, that's funny, that's funny. Yeah, so, anyways, guys, Joe Bailey said if Homer Simpson was real, he would look like a fat Bruce Willis, and I was like, yeah, you're right, he would. I, I thought about it, and he really he would. would. It's he really, really would. funny. So, oh. we'll let you guys sit with that. I've been one of your hosts, Jared Bronstein. I've been your other host, Lindsay Ivan. And we'll see ya. Stay curious, YouTube. Oh, I thought you were gonna say see You ya. keep oh. doing, remember, it's stay curious right. on this one, okay. but you're never on Most Amazing Top 10, never. so. Never. Can we say uh, stay curious, YouTube? Yeah. And stay curious. Hold on. And then I say YouTube? That's what I thought we were gonna, okay, we'll do it together. That's lame. These okay. are some great bloopers, by the way. <laughs> One, two, three. And stay, stay curious, curious, YouTube. YouTube. That was good. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> it's us. What? Anyways, no, nothing. Oh, that's us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is us. <laughs> Obama, <ooh>, na na. <laughs> <laughs> Just Rabby. <for Abby. laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright. Barack Obama, <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. I'm Lindsay Ivan. Shut up. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> Sound just like me. That there is that. Um, go a little towards yourself. Yeah. You're shirking your space a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, and fine. we do the video with our masks on. We'll do it. I'm down. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Putting on my shades to cover up my eyes. I'm on a solo. We're right at don't know. I don't think I can do that because it's like a copyright thing, but maybe take out the music and just us sing. I don't know. <laughs> so to say, oh. So, so for him to say that and that, because during a drive in rally in Michigan for Joe, for Joe Biden, I wrote Joe Biden. <laughs> Want your body. Okay. Um, because. <laughs> Did you see that video? So funny. <laughs> like I said, he almost call, caused a nuclear meltdown. He almost did. I mean, don't put this Go, in yeah. your editor. <laughs>